Hello, my name is Six. I am a singer-songwriter, and I'm, lately I've been trying to write a song unsuccessfully. A song that I like, a song that sits with the new me. God, after COVID, I feel like I've changed a lot. I feel like a lot of us can relate to change or forceful change or a forceful depression. <laughs> life changes it just kind of makes you feel strange and I'm gonna be real like I've been struggling with a lot of different things a lot of creatives can relate to mental illness being one of them being sad a lot and not feeling like I belong because you know when you're in a bad place you're not really motivated to create you're not really inspired I've been trying to find my voice who who am I <laughs> who am I <laughs> lately because I just the things I used to write about don't stick with me, don't feel the same, and it's hard to come out of that weird place to create, because if you don't create, it just digs that hole deeper, and the cycle continues, and then I'm just going to end up never creating, so I've been trying to force myself lately to create, I'm saying create a lot, um, <laughs> create, 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 um, yeah, I'm trying to force myself to create, and, uh, and it's going, it's happening. I've come up with some tips and tricks I can share with you guys. But, uh, you know, how, how does one find themselves again when they don't even want to finish a sentence? <laughs> they can't even finish a sentence. And I want to write a song. Or I want to paint a picture or whatever creative element. If you can relate to this at all, this ramblings, ramblings of a crazy person. Stay tuned, kids, because I have some things to share so friends and possibly soon to be enemies here are some of the ways i a struggling mentally drained artist attempt to navigate around it all and create something i mean anything please really any anything at all okay tip number one inspiration like most people, I begin the process of creating or writing something by being inspired enough by the pretty world around me to naturally spark an idea. Or in most cases, I squeeze it out of me when life sucks and I hate everybody <laughs> by forcing myself to be inspired. Okay, so the second method doesn't always work, but we'll get into that soon because that's like the whole point of the video. Just take away from this section that you need to have inspiration to start anything, even when cleaning your room, of which I'll never be inspired to do. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Inspiration, really? If it was that easy, I wouldn't have clicked on the video. Well, that's where tip number two comes in. I mean, I don't want to sound like a high school art teacher or anything, but... Nurture every creative idea you have. AKA, believe in yourself. Look, after a creative dry spell or a hard time in your life, you might no longer trust your abilities as an artist or a person. Well, same, me too. And weirdly enough, I found you've got to gain that self-trust again in order to succeed. If you don't, you won't have the courage needed to create new things or the self-confidence needed to take yourself seriously. And trust me, not taking yourself seriously as an artist just feeds that monster that torments all creatives. You might have heard its whispers in the corners of your mind. Is this work good enough? Will I ever be good enough? Why am I doing this? I'm not a real artist. I've got nothing special to say. This issue alone has been the end to many a famous artist, and a constant feeling of inadequacy can lead to harmful ways of coping. So try stop that negative self-talk. If you created it to be art, it is art. It's a moment in time you put into your own language, and that's honestly a gift to be able to do. So be kind to yourself. Regain your self-trust and stop the negative talk by believing in any creative ideas that you have from now on. I mean, within reason. If you're one of those people who draw sexy Shrek in a bikini and put it on Reddit, you can stop that right now and find another hobby. As for everybody else, no matter what level you're currently at, make sure you write down your ideas, record them, take pictures, make sketches, just make attempts to see them through. They don't have to be fully formed, you don't even have to use them or show them to anybody. But when you're lucky inspiration, you gotta make every burst of creativity count. Trust me, you'll gain so much more in the long run. You just gotta get that sap flowing. You just gotta get the creative juices flowing. Tip number three, make sure you are creating things for yourself. Cause when you're creating things for yourself, you're nurturing your artistic voice independently and will grow twice as fast, maybe even more than if you needed constant praise from others. Think of it this way. 
Would you rather have a super high-tech computer that self-cleans and fixes itself when it breaks, or a dusty old brick from the 90s that you gotta pay to get fixed by some ransom every other month? In my opinion, unless you're doing an aesthetic vaporwave photo shoot, I think you'd definitely prefer the first option. <laughs> Honestly, caring too much of what others think will always lead to writer's block and possible depression, so try catch yourself and train yourself to stop. Yes, it's achievable, though excruciatingly hard. Just like you or the people around you trained you to care in the first place. You can undo that method of thinking. I mean, I myself struggle with this, but I still keep at it and I think I get better every day. Just remember, you'll always be your final boss, your biggest judge. So make sure you're good to yourself and not creating art for other people's approval. I mean, unless they all like it and you're super popular and famous. In which case, scrap everything I said, we only care about what others think now. All right, we're almost finished because this is my last tip. Tip number four, do the work. Now this means many things, but in this case, I mean work hard at getting yourself out of whatever place you're in that's currently causing you to struggle creatively. It can be psychological or physical, but in most cases, it comes down to you. Heck, in all cases, art is very personal. And it's surprising how many of us refuse to realize how important healing our bodies and minds are in making art. So I know it sucks, but take care of your body. Art comes from the brain, which is an organ and not to be morbid, but if you don't feed yourself well and take care of your meat cage to the best of your ability, it will fail you and you will lose yourself and your identity. It's actually crazy that no one talks about this enough, but if you don't consider your physical health, you won't be healthy enough to create to the best of your abilities. And that's a tragedy, especially as you get older. Trust me, the haunted, emaciated artist is so 1890s. We don't always have to suffer for our art. And on the mental side of things, take care of yourself too. Do things to get that pesky serotonin you so desperately need back in your life. Though easier said than done, there are ways to trigger it, like going on walks or anything to get your blood pumping, doing fun activities you love, even if they seem frivolous, taking time out for self-care, or even revisiting the last things that sparked your passion for art and life to help you remember who you are and why you used to care. Cause doll, it all starts and ends with you. You just gotta do the work and show up. Maybe you need to talk to someone, a professional or friends, even randoms online. Or maybe you need a change of scenery or perspective. Only you can really dig deep and find out what you have to do to come out of this rut you're currently in. And though this journey of self-growth is what we as humans put off and honestly struggle with all our lives, when you finally try find yourself and try heal yourself, you're gonna be so happy. Even if you never get there, or if it takes years, every day will be better than the last. It's me again, face-wise. Yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys learned a lot, and if you didn't, I don't care. Take that. Take that. I don't even care. Good luck being creative. Only kidding. No, I, I hope it helped. I hope you found some sort of inspiration from this video to get on your own ass and do whatever that creative thing you wanted to do is, whether it be a hobby or your next masterpiece. Yeah, just do it. I know I'm gonna keep trying and I'm gonna keep writing and I'm gonna try find the new me, my new voice, and I hope you guys do too. But thank you for watching and uh, have fun navigating that dissonance.